Hot on the heels of the super successful Mugler H&M collaboration, H&M just announced their next designer collaboration and this time it is Frrrr Raban, formerly known as Paco Raban. Just putting my two cents out there, I think that they just, if they were just going to one name it, Paco, why not? I think we know, anyway, that is beef for another day. During a star-studded Paris Fashion Week party, it was announced that this is the next designer collaboration for H&M. Now, usually, I mean like, we're being a bit spoiled here because usually they don't do more than one designer collaboration each year. And to be honest with you, the one, like it had been two years before the last one happened, right? So two in one year, what have we done to deserve this? But I am going to go through what we know of the collection when it's coming out, some of the pieces that we've seen, um, pricing, what's involved, all of that. Guys, if you are new here, my name is Cassie and I'm a self-diagnosed luxury addict. I put out videos on Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays, so if you like luxury fashion, then you're gonna love it here. So head down there, subscribe, turn on the bell, become a member of our luxury addicted family. When are we going to rehab? <laughs> <gasps> Never. Also now have a podcast. Check it out. Raban. Spanish uh, design house known for their metallic pieces, chain mail, these like huge sort of metal discs, their bags that are all sort of like, it's very statementy. Studio 54, 70s inspired, hyper metallic, a bit futuristic, high impact. It is maximalist and it is glamorous and it's just in time for Christmas parties. This collaboration seems to be giving us all of that. Now what I was interested to see is with the Mugler collaboration, we sort of saw for the first time with these H&M designer collaborations that Mugler basically made Mug mainline Mugler, but at, I was gonna say H&M prices, not quite because they were still expensive, but at a lower price point, right? So it looks like we're sort of seeing a similar thing here as well. They are going to be recreating some of their really iconic pieces. They're not just spinning something very separate because it's an H&M collaboration. Now, the collaboration will feature menswear, women's wear, accessories, and for the first time for Raban, and I think the first sort of one of these types of designer collaborations for H&M, homeware. I, I, I sort of got a, a, a very short list, I think there's going to be 31 pieces of homeware and I got a, um, a, a little sort of list of items of what that's going to entail, so accent furniture. I thought that they'd give us, you know, like, I don't know, some crockery with like little, you know, Raban-esque patterns on it or whatever, um, but no, accent furniture, so I don't know, maybe if you're in the market for um, a lovely little accent chair in your living room. Keep your coins together for this collaboration. I don't know, I'm quite interested in that. That's interesting. A disc curtain? Ugh. Are we 16 living in 1997? What is that? I mean, I just have very, um, I was going to say not that fond memories, but I mean, I was jealous at the time. My friend had one of those beaded curtains and I was very jealous because my mum was one of those mothers that's like, you're not painting your room, everything in our house is white. Um, but uh, that's gonna be one of those, I don't think it's gonna sell out. You know, I think you've got, take your time with that one on the di disc curtain. What are we gonna do? Anyway, any listen. I don't know, your home vibe it might be up your street. Vases, that's interesting. Playing cards, dice. Again, maybe if you're a, um, you know, you're into 20, no, that game doesn't involve dice. Whatever's the game, but the black jack, no, the black jack is the 21. There's, there's a gambling game that involves dice at some point, seven. I think it's all about the numbers. Anyway, if you're into that, maybe, maybe this is a blanket, cushions, um, featuring the new Raban logo, a rug, and a water bottle. So there's that. Again, I find this sort of timing quite interesting because this year especially, there's been a very big push for Raban. They've had their rebrand, their name change, right? Going by one name, a la Cher, who was at the party and is also in their like, um, 
I was going to say campaign reel, but it was just their announcement, okay? Share, we're gonna get back to that. They're first naming themselves. They've also launched a beauty range, which is at Selfridges, and I think is dropping in the US sometime soon. Anyway, I, um, I did buy some the last time I was in the UK, and I did, my eyeshadow is from them. But anyway, yeah, very nice, Don't like good quality. Anyway, so I think this is, again, part of that push to get them out there talked about more and more and more. A big topic around designer and H&M collaborations is the quality and the manufacture, especially if you're looking at something like Raban wear, they're working with very specific types of materials. Like I said, the chainmail, the metal mesh. There are certain techniques and processes that they put in place to make those pieces. So the uh, creative director, Desena, said, it was all out of the question for me to offer lesser quality metal mesh or chainmail products at H&M. I can assure you that the quality that H&M achieved with its own partner is the same that we offer at Paco Rabanne. Very interesting. So if you have ever considered a Raban chainmail metal dress, maybe you want to get a cheaper option at the H&M collaboration that apparently is the same quality as their main line. It's a no-brainer for me in my mind. Now, the other thing that I find interesting here is that the only thing that they sort of, that this was surrounding is the, is the metal mesh and the chainmail items. Does this mean that the other items as part of this collaboration that aren't made from those materials, this quality has been sacrificed? Unclear, I'm reading into things, okay? I'm putting my comprehension skills to test. But there we go, I thought that that was worth noting. Also in terms of sustainability, the sequins used in this collaboration are all 100% recycled and any metal is 70% recycled. In terms of the pricing, the range is 40 euros, we only have euros, but if we're talking about dollars, pretty much the same number. If we're talking about pounds, a bit less. So 40 euros for a bag, 600 is the most expensive thing for a dress. That's probably gonna be that metal mesh, that metal mesh dress. Then again, 600 as opposed to, let's have a quick Google here. 2,300 dollars, 2,400. Okay, there's one here, 1,900. But yeah, you are looking at around the 2,000-ish range. Again, that is a deal worth having. Now, I wanted to go through some of the outfits from the launch that the celebrities um, or invitees were wearing because those are our only insight into the collection at the moment. Jared Leto is here in this coat that is part of the collaboration. I'm assuming under men's, but you know, we don't know. Um. That's a no, that, I don't know. I, I'm not a fan of the, uh, of the, of the collar and the, the faux fur of it looks, you know, it looks like it's been cut off a carpet somewhere. We've got this chain mail little polo shirt. Turn up the volume, oh my gosh, Christmas party. That would be fantastic, right. Then we have this dress that is on Irina Shake. But I think she's wearing a slip dress underneath because she didn't want to show her bits, understandable. Um, I mean, it, it is very classic Paco Rabanne. I just maybe am not a fan of the slip worn underneath because I think that it takes away from it. Do we agree? But I think if you did this with a bodysuit underneath again, if you want a, um, a, a statement piece for going out or, you know, a party or something like that, then I think it's great. We also have this sort of longer sequin with those metal discs at the bottom here on Elle Fanning. Fine, this is something else. So, Anne-Sophie Johansson, I don't know if these trousers are from the collaboration, but I need them to be, okay? That looks great. There is also a crystal turtleneck. Ding, 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 you know me. Turtleneck, yes, crystal, yes. Sign me up. Um, that actually, I've been looking at uh, to get myself from the main line, obviously, before I heard about this, and guess what? Apparently there is one identical part of, as part of this collaboration. So, there we go. Um, I hope those jeans are a part of it. There's also this sort of, um, leopard print midi dress in, like, a jersey fabric with, like, a little bit of, um, uh, ruching on the neck or whatever. Again, I think that that's a nice dress. A, a lot of this collaboration is 
high high impact all right you want to know there's nothing subtle about it apart from maybe this track suit this sparkly um like two piece so there's the sequin crop top which i love and i think that again if you're somebody that goes out a lot or you know wants a bit of a spectacle of a, of a, of a piece then something like this you can change up with whatever bottom you choose you can do it with trousers or a short or you know whatever and they've done it here with like a maxi oh are those a pair of trousers it's a pair of trousers okay false alarm but we also have that bag again maybe you want a fabulous pair of statement trousers sparkly trousers for um, the christmas season i don't know the bag is there as part of the collaboration of it on it um another sort of iconic piece and they have this yeah this sort of uh, 70s print that i'm not particularly a fan of What's this? I mean, I don't know if this little crop top cardigan is a part of it. That's cute. I think that that's cute and cosy and a bit fabulous. And again, you have the chain mail skirt that's definitely a part of this. But there is another piece that is worth shouting out. And that is the military jacket that Cher is wearing in the announcement video. Now, you know I love a military jacket. They are not done enough. And they are not done when you do find them. They're not done with enough pizzazz. I like this one. I think it's really nice, really great. And something like this again, you can wear with jeans and it just gives another, just like a little elevation to the look. You can do it with a skirt and heels. You can do it with whatever, truly. I really don't think military jackets get utilized enough. And I'm so happy that it's part of the collaboration because this looks like a really great one. Leonie Han also was wearing a chainmail dress from this collaboration. And this one looks great. Is this the 600 pounder? But it's got like um, a strap that goes across the top that basically keeps the sleeves up, but it's very low cut. This one is a dress to be seen in, right? I mean, that is fun and fabulous. And you just know that the way that moves is... Ooh, that is great. That is very nice. Um, we also see a sneak peek of some earrings from the collaboration. Sort of triangles with a trim. Fine. But I do like, I mean, I think that that dress is great. I think that's got to be the 600. That's got to be the 600 -er. The collaboration is due to launch on the 9th of November, all right? Set your alarms and all of that. Um, on H&M.com and in select stores, the home stuff is only going to be on in like available in select countries. Unclear at what those countries are, but basically, if you can get H&M home wherever you are, then I think you'll get it. And if not, then no. So there we go. But what do you think of the collaboration? I think that it's interesting. I think that if this is your aesthetic and vibe and something that you're looking at then I think that it's going to be a really really good one especially for the metal pieces because it sounds like you're going to get a good deal and the quality is going to be the same there you go I'm going to leave a link to another video over here in case you haven't already seen it have an amazing morning afternoon or evening wherever you are and in the words of my father if you've enjoyed it tell your friends if you haven't keep your mouth shut I'll see you in my next video Mwah. bye guys